You know what a herpetologist is? Well, meet Jason Jones. He is a herpetologist. Jason loves his reptiles and loves his job. So as the herpetologist for the state of Nevada, I'm in charge of uh, over 50 reptile species. And when I say in charge, I mean um, better understand their ecology, where they are, um, how many of them there are, uh, and essentially kind of their status in terms of conservation needs um, across the entire state of Nevada. It's a pretty ambitious task, um, and obviously all reptiles are, are evolutionarily um, really old. Uh, meaning they've been here for millions of years. So you have a high diversity of reptiles, over 50 species uh, occur in the state of Nevada uh, and are native. And um, of those species, about half are considered kind of special concern or species of conservation priority, meaning we either lack information on um, you know, their status in terms of if there's a lot of them or if there are a few of them. Um, and we really don't understand where they are in the state. So uh, as a herpetologist, my job is to essentially design surveys um, and get folks, citizens, um, and other collaborators like researchers involved in our science so we can better understand some of these, some of these details like where and how many there are of these species. Nevada Department of Wildlife has a really great program where we take on volunteers and it's essentially kind of like citizen science. So what it is is uh, people are able to come out and depending on the survey or the opportunities, um, they can do everything from radio track tortoises or other animals to uh, just going out and doing general kind of bio blitz surveys and when I say bio blitz that's essentially people coming together and hiking around areas looking for wildlife and documenting what wildlife species they see and so just sheer numbers usually of people um, improve the chances of us finding certain species that are either rare or just really hard to see. Photos go a long way especially for us when it comes to uh, understanding where some of these species occur we, we rely heavily on citizen scientists or just general members of the public that have a an interest in improving our understanding. So taking photographs of things you see in the wild is, is a really great way to not only connect with that species and better understand what that species is and what they do, um, but also improving our understanding of where these species are so we can improve our management. So uh, we have a, a volunteer website and the best way to do that is just sign up as a volunteer and usually you get contacted within a week or so from our volunteer coordinators. Um, and then depending on the project, you know, you can start right away or, you know, you may have to do some training. I love what I do because uh, it allows me to get outside and explore.